Hey, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Guess where I am today? I am in Sendai, Miyagi Prefecture, which is in the northwestern region of Japan. This city is actually a very bustling and very old city, which was established in the year 1600. So it has a long, long history. Um, and they actually are known as being the city of trees, which is perfect. They've got trees lining the front of the station, which is very lovely. And they got this name because even in the old days, this city was known for having lots of wide open green spaces. So I'm really excited to explore this wonderful green city and see what kind of amazing foods we can find today. Zunda is one of their most famous foods here, which is edamame, usually edamame sweets. Traditional Japanese sweets like mochi, so that's gonna be a good find. And another thing we're gonna look for today is gyutan, or beef tongue, because that's another local specialty. So let's go see if we can find those things and some other hidden gems. Let's go. found my favorite shake shop. It's called Zunda Sario and they're famous for their Zunda or edamame sweets. And I've actually tried their milkshake once in Tokyo, but they originate here in Sendai. So I think I'm gonna have to get a shake. Let's go. I have got my Zunda Sario edamame shake. This is fantastic. I've already tried this before, so it's not new for me, but it really is that amazing. I would I actually just go out of my way to Tokyo Station, where the other branch is, to, to have a sip during the summer. So, definitely recommend. Let's give it a sip. Mmm. Mmm. It is really, really thick. But it's a very, very faint sweetness. And I can't say that it tastes like edamame. It's a very, very faint, if any, hint of edamame. Um, it's mostly like a sweet, very faintly sweet creamy milkshake. I think it's just one of those things you have to try to understand. So if you ever come to Sendai or Tokyo, make sure you find Zunda Sario. It's one of my favorites. I am now at the Asaichi Morning Market, which is just about a five minute walk from Sendai Station. And despite its name, Asaichi, which means first thing in the morning, it's actually open all morning and all night. But this place had opened actually right after World War II as an open air market. And even today, this is the place where you can come to get fresh seasonal fruits and vegetables and fresh fish. So let's go see what kind of delicious foods there are. It's not only fish, there's gotta be other things. Let's go see. There's actually a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables right off the bat. It's a very busy little street. <laughs> Lots of people just ducking through. But the shops actually go in really deep too. I thought they were just um, little shops, but no, they go way in. The shopkeeper recommended their jumbo inari sushi. Inari sushi is basically sushi rice with um, tofu skin wrapped around it. Well, it's actually a tofu skin pocket that you fill with rice. And in this case, he uses mochi rice that's been steamed from below, I guess, and that makes it extra mochi mochi, extra chewy. So it's supposed to be very delicious. He said it's special because it is so packed full that it is actually, there's no space between the skin and the rice. So it's a fully packed jumbo inari filled with vegetables. Let's give it a try. Mm. As you know, sushi rice is usually a little bit vinegary, a little bit sweet. It's very much like that, but inari sushi tends to be a little bit sweeter than your regular sushi. The outer tofu skin is also soaked in a delicious soy sauce and sugar mixture, which makes that part sweet as well. And the rice is fantastic. It is so chewy, almost like mochi because it is mochi rice. Ta-da! This is the Zunda Dango. If you take a look at the shape of the Dango itself, they're kind of cylindrical shaped. I'm used to eating round balls of mochi, but in this case, they're actually, they look like they've been sliced and then put on a skewer. 
and the shop owner actually mentioned that they make their Zunda mochi with only, I believe, three ingredients, and that's edamame, sugar, and salt. And that's the key to a very delicious Zunda. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, wow. It does taste a little bit like the Zunda shake that I just had, but in stronger form. And I think the great thing about Zunda is it's made out of edamame, so it tastes a little bit beany, but it's not overly sweet like um, red bean paste would be. So it's, it's a good mild option for if you want to try a Japanese traditional dessert that's not too sweet. Well, let's keep exploring the street, shall we? Okay guys, I'm gonna try the Sendai Miso Karage or Sendai Miso Fried Chicken. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm, oishii desu. Yeah, this this chicken is amazing. Ah. So this is the fried namban lenkon, which is lotus root, with a namban sauce. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good, you guys. It is very, very crispy, but the dough around it is also very fluffy. And it's got almost a lemony, citrusy aftertaste. And you can hardly tell that it is a vegetable. It's all just crispy and then just so much flavor in your mouth. It is really, really good. This shop is actually the original location. Um, it's, uh, it's actually, it seems very historical. They've been here for a while. But you can also buy some of these items in Tokyo or other department stores. They'll actually, the shacho or the boss of this store actually will go anywhere, apparently, um, to sell these products. So this place is called Mi Uraya, you guys, and it is such a wonderful little shop. They actually started this shop after the 311 earthquake and tsunami, which did have, uh, which did destroy Sendai as well. So they've been working really hard since then. And apparently the shacho, the owner, was selling his, uh, his fried chicken long before that, I think for the past 35 years. But this particular shop was built after the disaster. So definitely a great shop to support. And the food is super delicious. And the staff are very talkative and very friendly. <laughs> I am now inside a shopping arcade right near the Asaichi Street. Ooh, what is this? It looks like a temple. And it's right in the middle of a shopping arcade. Actually, I think this is possibly the really famous temple here um, in this area. It's called Mitaki-san Fudoin. And there's a great story behind this temple, but I didn't know it was inside the arcade. So let's go take a look inside beautiful little tea shop at the entrance and this is the temple path leading up to the temple which is actually all the way in the back i think that these might be photos or depictions of the famous god of fortune which is sendai shiro sendai shiro true to his name is a, a man named shiro who is from the sendai area he became a god of fortune for a lot of businesses in this area. He was a man with a, an intellectual disability, but he was very friendly, always smiling. He had such a great character. And any shop that welcomed him into their store was said to have good fortune and good luck after that. Although he is not a true god, it shows that it's actually the warmth of the business owners that led to their you know, success as a business um, for welcoming this wonderful man into their shop. So normally you can't actually film inside temples, um, but they actually just gave us permission to do so. So let's head upstairs. Wow, this is Sendai Shiro himself. There's a chance that this might be a real photo of Sendai Shiro, which would be absolutely amazing if it is. Well, I think this might be a good spot for me to pay my respects. This is the one we're gonna get. This is the Hyotan Age. On the inside, it is Kamaboko fish cake or fish ball. Very interesting. I've never had anything like it, so I'm really excited to try. This looks so good, you guys. This is not how I expected it to look at all. It is two deep fried fish cake balls. Um, with a little swirly ketchup on top. Crispy and delicious. I'm a little scared. Here we go. Itadakimasu. 
Mmm. It is very much like a corn dog. The outside is very fluffy, very doughy. This is a kamaboko fish cake, which is basically fish meat that's been grinded down into a paste, and then it turns into a really doughy, um, very, what do you call it, bouncy fish cake. Well, I'm gonna keep munching on this, and then let's go to our last stop of the day. All right, so our last stop of the day. As Sendai is famous for gyutan, or beef tongue, it's actually the birthplace of beef tongue. So this is where eating beef tongue actually became popularized. So we must try a little bit of beef tongue. But they have an original product here at this wonderful little cozy butcher shop called Hamaya. They have this wonderful little original product and it's called gyutan boru. Um, they look like little stuffed croquettes which I love croquettes, so why not give it a try? It goes for, one goes for 76 yen, which is a great price. How could I say no to that deal? Let's go take a look inside. All right, so I've just got my gyutan boru, the beef tongue fried balls. The lady who worked there, I assume she's the owner, was also very, very sweet. And she assured me that they're delicious as is because the inside is very well flavored. So let's give it a try. Itadakimasu. Mmm. -mm. Wow, you guys. Man, that is meaty. As you can see, it's very much, how do I describe it? It's like a meatball. It's not really like a croquette. There's no hint of potato. It's really just a meatball that's filled with big chunks of beef tongue. The outside is nice and crispy, but I imagine it would be even better freshly fried. These ones have been um, sitting in the showcase for a little bit, so it's cold. I imagine this would be incredible freshly fried, but very good if you're a fan of of meat. This is a good one to try. So that concludes my day here in Sendai. It was not a very long day that we had here, so we didn't get to hit as many places as we wanted to hit, but we did find a ton of amazing food shops all in the vicinity of Sendai Station, which is great. Um, all of the food here was amazing. All of the people were equally amazing. Every shopkeeper that we talked to was so friendly and so warm. So I definitely recommend this as a great place to visit eat delicious food and just have a wonderful time in Sendai. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the food shops that we visited today and the little tour of Sendai, Sendai Station area. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video in Miyagi Prefecture. Bye guys!